Tolkien, the movie, it, uh, it encapsulates the, the early formative years of John Ronald Rule Tolkien and um, his, uh, his early life, his influences, um, and uh, his influences and the beginnings of his relationship with Edith and his, going through his experiences in the First World War leading up to the inspiration behind The Hobbit and, and what eventually brought him to put pen to paper and write In a Hole in the Ground There Lived a Hobbit. Uh, it was it was quite daunting, you know. First of all, writing a movie for Fox Searchlight, you know, so expectations are high straight away, and the fact that it's it's Tolkien, um, you know, and writing the name Tolkien and putting words in his mouth, and also the fact that it's period and uh, you know quite British upper class, which you know I'm Irish, but uh, you know not too far geographically from there, but removed by you know a lifetime of culture and, and a whole century almost. Uh, so trying to find that voice, you know, was intimidating. But once I, um, yeah, you know, once I made a connection to the character, you know, which came easily enough, you know, I, I like to think that um, Tolkien would have approved of what I did, you know, because I tried to be um, true to the man, you know, more than the icon, you know, and I could relate to him in that, you know, he was a committed Catholic. I'm a practicing Catholic. He had four kids. I've got four kids. <laughs> He worried about his retirement, you know, sometimes I worry about mine, you know, so, so that was kind of my way into him, you know, on a, on a very micro level. Uh, I hope they're moved, you know, by, by an affecting love story and, um, you know, by a man who challenged impossible odds not to do something extraordinary in life, but to um, find a peace within himself and sit down and, you know, raise a beautiful family and create great art. Yeah, and become immortal <laughs> through it.